All right, so today what we're going to do is demonstrate a safe procedure for rotovapping solvent in sample vials. So here we've got a number of different sample vials assembled on different pump traps. This is a six dram short vial. This is a three dram vial. And here what we have is a 0 0.5 dram vial. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how to effectively safely set this up and uh, attach it to the rotovap. So the first thing that we need to do is get a sharp tip needle, which we'll use to initially pierce the septum, and we can remove the cap from it using the sherps container like this. Now, what we'll do is we'll poke a hole through here, which we can put our blunt tip needle through. Once we've done that, we'll use again the sherps disposal container to safely remove this. Next, we'll take our blunt tip needle. and stick it through the hole in the septum which we pre-punctured. This now can be taken to the bump trap of the rotovap and assembled. Now to begin the rotovap aspiration process, turn on the vacuum pump, turn on the rotary evaporator, Ensure that we're close to the atmosphere and hit run. And then turn the rotation on here and lower it in for a water bath using this button. So now that all of the solvent has been removed from the sample vial, we can end the process. We'll raise this up, turn our vacuum pump off. Stop the rotation, turn off the power to the rotovap. Now, it's important to hold this when you let the air back into the system because the influx of air can sometimes knock these off the end if they're not on tightly enough. And once the vacuum is out of the system, this can be disassembled and the septa with the blunt tip files can be reused. And that's all there is to it.